we use the dateDiff function to calculate the difference between two dates. For example, we want to calculate the age of an employee. We can easily calculate the difference between the current date and the date of birth with the dateDiff function. Three parameters are sent to the function. In the first parameter, we specify in which format we want to see the difference between the two dates. There may be options such as year, month, hour, or minute. The second parameter represents the start date. The third parameter is the end date. Let's better understand how it works by making an example in SQL Server. Three parameters are sent to the date diff function. We want to see the difference of the dates in the second and third parameters as years. Integer value returned. As we learned in previous lessons, we can get the current date with the getDate function. I am sending the current date as the third parameter. Again, let's calculate the difference between two dates as a year. Let's try the month option. Let's take a look at the week, day, hour, and minute options. As you can see, we can calculate the difference between two dates as day, hour, or minute. Now let's make an example using a table. I am creating a table where employee information is recorded. The table has columns ID, first name, last name, and birth underscore date. I am sending 10 records. I can use the select command to see the data. I calculate the age of each employee using the date diff function. Thanks for watching. To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video.